Hey, it's your girl, Key to the City, and you're watching The Daily Grind online. Today, I'm here with the amazing Taylor Coleman, Lifetime's own star. She has this reality show where she plays the preacher's daughter, right? And I love, you know, you on the reality show because you're fun, you're feisty. You know, tell us about Preacher's Daughters. Um, thank you. <laughs> well, Preacher's Daughters is basically a show about, you know, um, the kids of preachers and how they actually live. A lot of people have stereotypes of how they think, you know, preacher's daughters should act. And I would say yeah. I have to agree with some of them. I mean, yes, a lot of preacher's kids are wild. But, I mean, there's other preacher's kids that's not. So I want to show them how I deal with it. Because I honestly don't think I'm wild. I just think I like to have fun. But, you know, everyone has their opinions. Yeah. So what was it like looking back? Because I know a lot of times, like, you don't get to see when it's edited. You get to right. see it like how we get to see it. So what was it like actually looking on the screen and was like, wow, this is my life unfolding, and everyone <laughs> is watching it right along with me? It, it was nerve-wracking at first because it's just like, you know, everyone's going to judge you. And um, I remember watching the first episode with my parents. We were all sitting there. And, well, no, it was the second episode. I didn't even watch the first episode with my parents. I couldn't do it. But um, the second episode, I'm sitting there in the living room, and it was the um, hotel scene. And, I mean, of oh, course, they knew yeah. about it afterwards because we had to go through the whole situation. But it was just, like, awkward just sitting there with my parents. They're just looking at me like, no, you didn't, you know? <laughs> was there any arguments? Like, oh, when this episode's off, yeah, we're going to have it. Um, good thing I actually um, tried to brace them before each episode come on like right before they told us when they told us a date that it was going to come out i was just like all right you guys there's some things i did but guess what it's the past <laughs> like you know so you really can't you know punch me for the past and um i was already 18 by the time the show came out so i'm like i'm an adult now you know i'm making better decisions you know trying to ease on in there so we had conversations but not really arguments all right do you have any regrets um you know, at first, I kind of had a regret, like, especially, I guess, with the whole porn star comment, because they, people, a lot of people took it in a whole different context than what I really meant. But now that looking back on it, I really don't, because it's just like, I'm growing. You see me growing throughout the show. So some, be, some things I say, is, I'm going to make some mistakes, but that's, that's how it is when you live. But you don't want to be a porn star, right? No, I definitely <laughs> don't want to be a porn star. Yeah, I did read that you meant that you wanted to be free. Yes. You know, you have freedom of choice, and I can understand. So do you feel that growing up, your household was so strict? Yes, um, especially with me being the baby of the house, because um, I have older siblings or whatever, but they're out the house. My dad wanted to correct all his mistakes that he made with himself and with the kids with me. So... I had to be in the house when the streetlights came on, and I couldn't spend a night over at any of my friends' houses. <laughs> like, um, I couldn't go to parties. I had to be at every church service, like Sunday, Sunday night. If there was a midweek service, I, I was there. He had to preach out of town. I had to come, even if I had homework. Like, you, you got to come to church. Bring, <laughs> bring your homework to church. <laughs> Can you relate to that, Ronnie? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, to me, I mean, from what I from what I took from the reality series. I think it spotlights, you know, being a Christian, being able to be young and, and juggle and the peer pressures and, you know, different things like that. But the standpoint that I wanted to get into, you know, I seen your YouTube video, mm -hmm. you doing a J. Cole power trip. Is that something you want to get into? And, the, you know, being a reality star, is that something you're trying to get into as far as the music industry is concerned? Um, yes. Before um, I started the reality TV show, mm -hmm. I've always been into singing and acting. Um, when I was younger, my parents would ask me, you know, what do you want to be when you grow up? And I would always say, I want to be a singer and actress. <laughs> I never split it up. It was just <laughs> always together. And um, I, I, I do that with my free time. It's just something that I just love to do. I just can't not, like, I make songs, I, I sing, I right. act. So I really do want to get into that. It's just... I didn't do the reality show to do it. I did the reality show because I felt like it was good for people to really see what's going on right. behind, you know, um, the lives of preachers because they really, a lot of people really tried to, like, stereotype me and, like, especially where I was from, you're a preacher's daughter. Oh, you can't go to that party. You don't know how to dance. You don't know how to do this, you know? Right. I'm like, I, I still grow up around y'all. What are y'all talking about? Exactly, exactly. So. Okay, so now, because, so are you already out of high school? Like, are you... Yes, I graduated last year. Okay, so now the prom, like, how was that whole thing? Like, you know, being successful in the prom and different things like that. Like, how, um, and people, like, kind of, like, shining on you because you're on TV. Like, how does that whole thing? Yeah, it was kind of weird. 
um, a lot of my the friends who are close to me, mm -hmm. I, they treated me the same. Like they were on the show with me, you know, like <laughs> right. it's just Taylor. But um, especially at prom, when I came to prom, there were girls that I actually had classes with who were nervous to like take a picture with me. Like they, they asked her, "Can I take a picture with her?" And I'm like. Y'all in the same class, come on, you know? <laughs> so I took pictures with them, but a lot of people were kind of acting um, nervous. But it's just, it, it was kind of weird for me because yeah. I'm, I'm really outgoing, I'm really open, and I'm friendly. Right. So, like, I'm like, don't be nervous around me. I'm just, not, I'm just on television, you know? Exactly, exactly. Okay, so basically, what's next? Like, um, what, like after this reality show, are y'all going to have a season two? Like, what's... Yes, actually, um, season two is coming out March 5th okay. on Lifetime. Okay. Um, and I think, I really think you all would like this season. I feel like it's it's going to show um, show more of me. Because, you know, like, mm -hmm. in, first, in the first season, you have, if you think about it, you have 24 hours out of the day. Right. But you can only show so much, you know? Okay. So I feel like this gets more in depth into who I am. And you show it shows me, like, growing as a person, too. What are some things we can expect? Um. No more hotel. I don't know. <laughs> I, well, you will see my prom on okay. the, um, on okay. the season. Um, you actually, this season is almost literally the the end of my high school. You see, oh, okay. basically um, the ending. The you don't see graduation, but you do see, like I said, prom and um, things that's going on. With my dad, uh, my dad, okay. he's sick, and just how I'm dealing with that too. Okay. So it, I just want to feel like it really gets into depth as who we are as a family as well. And then music-wise? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Because <laughs> you, you write your own music? Yes, I do. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm working on it right now. I'm getting um, music together now. I can't okay. say if I'm going to have a exact release date yet, but right. I am really working on it. You'll see actually one of the songs that I've done on the show as well. Okay. Um, and I, I don't know. I think you guys are going to really like it, though. All right, like, what about fashion? What about modeling? Or is that something, that, or like a clothing line? Is that something you was thinking about as well? I'm going to be honest. I want to do it all. So oh. <laughs> <laughs> if I can model, Even you can. exactly. So if I can model, hit me up. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I do. I want to get into all of that. I actually have a lipstick coming out soon. Um, okay. It's called Forbidden. And, um, wow, I like that. Yeah, it's actually named after the song that's in the show. Okay. So okay, it, Forbidden. Mm-hmm. So tell the people, I guess, your social media, your Twitter, like how people can follow you and, you know, keep track of your career and different things like that. Okay, yeah. Um, my Instagram is TaylorComan94. Um, my Twitter is TaylorComan underscore. And um, my Facebook is TaylorComanLife. I just got all these different <laughs> things. Well, yeah, it's only because, like, I guess Taylor Coleman is a common name, so I couldn't just get Taylor Coleman. Right. So I had to change it up and everything. But yeah. well, we thank you so much for coming past the Daily Grind Studio and talking to us today. It's Appreciate been a pleasure. It. We hope to have you on the show again. Yeah, thank you for having me. It was fun. Yeah. <laughs> and make sure you guys tune into the Daily Grind each and every Sunday at two, only at www.thedailygrindmovement.com. All right, now. Hey, this is Taylor Coleman from Lifetime's Future's Daughters. Make sure you tune in to the Daily Grind every Sunday at two. Check me out on Lifetime.